E hello, hello, hello. This year, Chris Hemsworth gives you a unique fight with whales. Hey, what's up, guys? Brandon Wang here, giving you the review of In the Heart of the Sea. In the Heart of the Sea was directed by Ron Howard. It cast Thor, Chris Hemsworth, Q from our 007 franchise, Ben Whishaw, and our next generation of Spider-Man, Tom Holland. So as usual, let's start with the plot. In 1820, the whaling ship Essex set sails to get more whale oils. Apparently, they used lead to light up an oil lamp. The Essex later encountered a gigantic sperm whale and caused some trouble. So I'm not going to spoil the movie, but everybody knows the ship sank. <coughs> Sorry. And this incident inspired Herman Melville to create a novel called Moby Dick. I was pretty entertained during the first half of the movie since we don't usually see this whale hunting movie and it is pretty fresh to me. And when they are hunting whales, they have to wait for the right moment to throw the harpoon and it's a group work so somebody is sailing the boat, some are yelling and some are waiting for the right moment to throw the harpoon. So that moment was pretty intense for me. And I was a little bit nervous and wondering if they are going to catch the whales. And the cinematography was pretty interesting, some shots are from this angle. Sort of. And the camera was shaking a little bit to create a feel of the wave. So Owen Chase was played by Chris Hemsworth. He dedicated to giving a better life to his family. So compared with George Pollard, Owen was a much more senior sailor. So in the movie we can see them argue a lot and sometimes their relationship got better and sometimes it got worse. Thomas Nicholson was played by Tom Holland and he was a rookie on that ship and we kind of see the story through his eyes but that's it there's nothing really special about the way it tells the story so here comes my major problem with this movie the second part so the second part there was trying to survive so in this kind of survival movie i was expecting to see how they struggle through every situation how their relationship grows and how the events influence a character and i saw none of them i mean when you are trying to survive, you have to do some immoral things, right? Sometimes, sometimes things that you don't want to do, but you have to. I'm not going to say what they did, but after you do some immoral things, it's going to influence you psychologically. But the movie didn't do well in that part, and the movie didn't do well on the things I mentioned. I mean, this movie has got potential. They got a great fight, and if they manage to do well in the second part, it's going to be a great story, it's going to be a good movie. But somehow it didn't realize its potential. So overall it is a movie with great fights with whales. If you don't mind it wasn't good enough in the second part, it might be a perfect movie for you. But in my opinion, I was a little bit disappointed at the second part. I was disappointed that it didn't realize its potential. So I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10 stars. So have you watched it? What do you think? Leave it in the comment section below. And as for always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a boom thumbs up. And if you want to watch more, subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.